in the series of learning programming in C today I am going to talk about features of C language in the previous videos I have discussed introduction to programming like what is need of programming why do you write programs and uh, some basic points about C language also or you can say introduction to C language low level languages and high level languages and language translators assemblers uh, compilers and interpreter right so in this video I am going to talk about some important features of C language so you can also write down these points and um, it's like you can make your own notes find you so now let us discuss some features of C language very first is it is high level language why so because here you just focus on writing programs you don't need to focus on the low level details on the machine code details like you don't need to focus on the specifications or the architecture of the CPU the computer you are using right you just focus on your writing programs and it's more of like English language high level language it's like you use the English words the alphabets and mathematical notations and everything you use you are not concerning about the low level details what is behind the scene and it is you can say understandable by humans so that is why it is known as high level language because here you focus on more what variables constant data types and uh, expression evaluation mathematical notations and everything rather than focusing on the registers and the low level details of hardware right so it is high level language second is it is you can say small language why I am saying small language because it's having only like 32 keywords uh, and other languages like C++ and Java they are having more keywords to use so it is small language you can easily learn this language having just only 32 keywords and that is why it is easy to learn right third is it is you can say a core language uh, and many other languages are dependent on this language C++ and Java these languages are dependent on C language so it is a core language like the uh, C++ and Java these languages drive features from C language right next is it is portable the pr program you write in C language you can run that program on different machine also it is not dependent on machine right or maybe sometimes you need to do uh, little modifications to run that program but programs are portable next is it is having uh, built-in functions and operators and those functions you can use and you can write down any complex programs right built-in functions means these functions are already defined and already been there in the library of that C library right you can directly use those functions you don't need to write the all the code of that function in your program you directly use that function and you can write down any complex program that also we'll discuss uh, with details when we are going to write programs like these are built-in functions and to use these functions you have to include this library that also we'll discuss next is it is a structured language why so because the code you can arrange the code you can organize the code in one or more functions right so that is why it is known as structured language next is it supports use of pointers so you can directly access the memory you can directly interact with the memory right the use of pointers also we'll discuss what are pointers in C but using pointers you can you can the pointers are what they store generally address of a variable so using those pointers you can directly access the memory the memory address of that variable fine next is it is extensible language you can extend this means what does that mean you can add your own function to C library C library you can create your own function and you can add that function to C library that is why you can say that it is extensible language you can add your features you can add your functions in that C library next point is compilation and execution of a program is faster as compared to some other languages see in the previous video also I have discussed this is a compiled language so after compilation the code will be generated like object code and then executable file so you can run that executable file and time to execute that compiled code will be very less as compared to the interpreted code so some languages like interpreted languages are there so as compared to those languages the compilation and execution of this language is faster and it is small also like it is having uh, built-in libraries standard libraries built-in functions and uh, operators so that is why uh, the compilation and execution is faster in this language it support features of dynamic memory allocation you can free the memory at any time by calling what function free frw you can call this function at any time and you can free the allocated memory that also we'll discuss how you can call this function in a program 
and next is it supports modular programming or rather than writing in a separate uh, point I can write down here also it is structured language and it supports modular programming or you can say it is a modular programming language. Now what does that mean like you can break your code into different different fragments code fragments or you can say functions it support functions suppose if I am going to write a program to find out area of a square uh, rectangle and uh, triangle. So rather than writing a complete program as a whole story you can divide this program into three functions one function for area of triangle for rectangle second and third is for circle so that it's look more organized and the chances of errors are also less so the programs will look in, uh, in more appealing and organized so it supports modular programming next is it is case sensitive means you have to take care of these things here if you write if you write a and a these are different these are having different meanings it is case sensitive language it treats lowercase letters and uppercase letters differently right see in dynamic memory allocation you can also add this point like you can uh, allocate memory at run time using malloc function calloc function you can free memory at any time at run time also like you can change the memory allocation of any data structure at run time only using those function malloc and calloc that also we'll discuss uh, when we will write programs and uh, next you can say it is used to develop and operate embedded systems that is why it is also known as system programming language see like your um, systems like your uh, fridge your microwave behind that the programming is done that these electronic devices the programming or the software is done and that is written in C language so you can say C is one of the most popular language uh, for system programming for for embedded systems that is why it is very popular language see java and python and c++ are very popular language but still c is having its own space because of these features it is not out of scope it is still in the market but see the object file of c language is what it is platform dependent like when you are writing a program in windows you compile that program and object file has been created fine so you cannot run that file on Mac and uh, Linux it is dependent on platform windows and when you create a program in on Linux or you can say in Mac operating system and you compile that program and then object file has been created that object file you cannot run that file on windows and Linux if you are compiling that file on uh, Mac operating system. So it is you can say platform dependent language. See because operating systems are also having their own, own extension of files like executable files of windows are having extension .exe and for mac I think it is .dmg. So these extensions are different that is why uh, this is what platform dependent language you cannot run object file of one uh, uh, written in one system to another system to another operating system. So I think these are some features of C language. In next video we are going to discuss a uh, structure of a C program and then the compilation process of a C program. So now I will see in the next video till then bye take care.